Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we'll be taking a look at the end of the anniversary raid that has come out on DB Legends. So this is a special after party anniversary raid etc. That essentially to be honest with you is supposed to be a way for us to pick up a whole bunch of resources. Chrono Crystals, Legends of Z Power etc. Um, it seems like, well, how it works is this, basically you start with one boss, more bosses will be released subsequently, which will each have their own raid medal, all the way up to six. You can see the dates of release here. Each boss will feature their own medals. These medals can be exchanged for their own set of prizes. You also get 200 Legends of Z Power, two bundles of 100 each, which will be based on the amount of times you complete the raids overall. There are different bonus characters for each raid, and each raid, like I said, has its own exchange. Now, I'm going to be honest. Basically, how this is, is you get 200 CC per raid boss, which will total in 1,200 CC. And then you also can get 200 Legends of Z Power. So it's not as exciting as the New Year's raid, uh, which definitely was very, very cool. Because of the fact that it basically featured a way to get a ton of Chrono Crystals and like Legends of Z Power per type. This one is definitely not as generous. We have essentially you know, 200 CC per raid. Then we have the 200 Legends of Z Power from the missions. That's kind of it, really. Aside from that, it is a standard raid, so each boss, when they unlock, will have their own meter for combat rewards, will have their own battle bonus characters, and will have their own uh, you know, set of bonus characters. Remember when you're building your team, you want to primarily focus on having battle bonus characters as your attackers for damage, and bonus characters as your support units to help boost the amount of medals that you drop. And that's that. The rewards are pretty standard for a raid. Some Z power, some Chrono Crystals, and some Arts Boost material, along with skip tickets, energy, etc. I won't say it's anything too crazy, but also won't say it's anything too bad. I think overall it's a decent ish uh, kind of situation. Although I do honestly wish that we just had a little bit more CC. Because for me, like, this is a decent chunk, but it's not like the craziest. It's not like the best amount of CC I've ever seen. Um, and I thought they would be able to do you know, a little bit more. With that being said, that is pretty much everything you need to know. For those of you who have not done a raid before, the concept is actually very, very simple. Essentially, you will pair up with someone else online. And basically what you will do is you and them will fight the boss together. After you fight the boss together, then you'll be able to defeat their shield. Once you knock out their blue shield, you do a rising rush at the same time as your ally. Once you do a rising rush at the same time as your ally, you'll be able to actually instantly defeat the boss. So a very straightforward process actually. And I think for me, it's realistically uh, yeah, quite simple. But yeah, that's it. Uh, that's everything you know about the anniversary raid. I still suggest doing it, even though it is a bit less CC than people were hoping. I still really suggest uh, joining in because it's still a good chunk of rewards. And you want to top yourself up on some of these resources. Arts boost materials, etc. Uh, you need quite a bit of it because the thing is, is when you don't have it, then what tends to happen is you start to struggle later on, especially since they're already releasing a new Legends Limited character, so we'll have to see what happens. But yeah, that's basically going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for me. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it in. Until then, take care, stay safe, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.